So in most cases, what we are already trying to treat is not the primary tumors, but they're already disseminated tumor cells that in, uh, already reach the distant organs, the other organs. Um, they, those organs have very different microenvironment. They will have their influence on the cancer cells, change their therapeutic responses. Um, but there hasn't been a very good experimental platform to help us uh, recapitulate that difference uh, between the descending tumor cells and the primary tumors. What we have done is to invent an in vitro experimental system where we can mimic the interaction between cancer cells and the bone cells. And bone is one of the most frequently affected sites of breast cancer metastasis and many other cancers too. Um, we actually use this approach to uh, keep the interaction between cancer cells and the bone cells. At the same time, we, since we are using bone fragments rather than the entire animal, we can uh, have a large sample size. We can par parallelly, simultaneously test many different drugs responses um, so that we can discover the therapy that can selectively act on the cancer cells when they're in the bone uh, very quickly. Right now we are focusing on breast cancer models, but we expect that the same methodology can be used for other cancer types. Um, we are using bone uh, because bone is the most frequently affected organ uh, by breast cancer metastasis, but the same methodology, same philosophy can be applied to other organs as well. We just need to be more creative. Um, so we are hoping that this is a generalizable uh, approach. We expect to uh, be able to identify drugs that specifically target cancer cells in the bone and uh, move this hopefully with the collaboration uh, with the clinicians to clinical trials and to eliminate, to cure bone metastasis and to prevent the cancer cell in the bone to become uh, metastasis. Um, so we're hoping, we're very actively uh, working to move this into the clinic.